David Spate, um, co-founder and managing director of Scale. I'm Bob Bradley, uh, co-founder and technical director of Scale. We had the idea about two years ago when we first started using this uh, nylon material with carbon fibre and we realised that the strength of the material and its temperature properties were going to enable us to do more and more exciting stuff in engineering. This year with the advent of Covid we decided we had a bit of time on our hands in the summer and we decided to, to see if we could actually do it. I guess the, the initial concept was to define a space within which this would, um, the vehicle would sit and we actually worked with a company who does uh, structural optimization, a company called Raffinex and, and we sort of set the boundaries of where we wanted the chassis to live and they were able to use computer tools to give us an idea of where the structure would be best placed. Yeah so at the moment we're using um, actually not too many batteries but charging time for those is probably an hour or two that would give us probably 30 or 40 laps I guess of the industrial estate. We haven't hit full top speeds but theoretically 45 miles an hour is possible. Once you've got the design you can you can print you can print a vehicle every every two days or so. I think that for certain vehicle types, this is definitely the way that uh, vehicles could be built. Well, we've proven that it's possible to, to drive a vehicle printed this way. And I think in the future, we're going to see a lot more of this. So hopefully um, we can find the right commercial partners and uh, people within the automotive industry who can help us uh, take it on further and, um, and realize its full potential.